Ah, fuck. I can't believe I made it. <laughs> ah, see? That's the power of swearing, folks. You wonder why I do it? It's because it grants you superpowers. I honestly cannot see those little shadow kids. I mean, I can see them after they've attacked me, because I know where they are, like in relation to Harry, but if I'm just going through, I do not see them. Thank you, stereotypical Asian man. Disney, wait for the sanctions to take effect. Just wait for Harry Mason to come on vacation here. Honestly, that was a stroke of luck. I I seem to remember in the movie, like there was some business about how the the little kid wanted to go to Silent Hill. But honestly, that's not in the video game. Harry Mason and Cheryl are honestly just going on vacation to the very same town where an evil cult has captured like the other half of Cheryl. Yeah, I want the red thing there. Disc. Uh, of Ouroboros. Oh, man. Holy shit. The cult of Silent Hill has made an alliance with Albert Wesker. Now we are truly doomed. No, that's it. Dude, just surrender. No way you're taking on the Dark God Samael and Albert Wesker. I mean... Yeah, sure. The Dark God... You could beat him. He's not that tough. But you're throwing in Albert Wesker into the mix? No way, dude. It's it. That's it. Alright. I hope I have all of them. Let's go. It's time to finish this. No. No. I don't want to. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to. Why? She's clearly evil! Just two of us. Please understand. One of whom is totally evil! Yes, I see. Maybe mommy has been wrong. Yes! You're evil! That's wrong! Containing the power to create life. 
I'm having horrible flashbacks to junior high sex ed. That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's the way back, but we're not going back. Well, you're not going to comment on the weird pictures? Come on, Harry. Alright, let's do this. It's time to end this. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And Harry Mason never picked up any bubblegum. Picked up the camera, though. Guess so was I! Oh no! She's actually been evil this whole time! What a shock! Actually, I think we found that out back in the carnival, didn't we? But come on! Really? She might as well have been twirling a mustache this whole time. She's right there. Harry Mason's pretty slow on the uptake. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the the player pretty much got it a while ago. Oh man, she's been forced to play Final Fantasy XIII! Like I said, Final Fantasy XIII. I got a point to make about this, but I'll make it later. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You're crazy, lady. Badass struts in. He's quit screwing around. <laughs> Where's Kaufman get this confidence from? Don't you understand, Dahlia? Sex is death. You didn't.
Oh yeah. Slow motion. That's how awesome Kaufman is. He throws it in slow motion. Throws like a ketchup bottle at her. Yeah, we get it. The Matrix time is not actually necessary. I was sort of making fun of you for it there. Not being serious. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah. Sex is death. Pick up Kaufman, you were kind of being drowned by the soundtrack there. What the fuck? Oh shit. Uh, Kaufman, you got my back, right, Bo? Uh, well, that's Stall you dealt with. Alright, Kaufman, you and me. Let's do it. Actually, Kaufman just immediately disappears. But this is it, folks. We've been saving up hunting rifle ammo this whole time. And that was where I make my point about uh, the Dark God, Sam I.L. You know, he's made up to be this huge bad. He's going to take over the world, do all this shit. But honestly, one dude with a hunting rifle is capable of killing him. Maybe he's not as tough as Dahlia thinks. I mean, Harry Mason is basically just going to shove a hunting rifle up his ass now. Oh shit. What the... Oh, no. You're not being serious, are you? That's a one-hit kill. Oh, no. You're doing the one-hit kill thing, aren't you? This isn't going to be fun for any of us. This is not going to be fun for any of us. Alright. Okay, I don't need to see that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'm going to assume that maybe I'm kind of not at full health, so I'm going to drink one of these. That definitely put me at full. Okay, I made it. Okay. Okay, maybe we can do this, folks. I just hope I have enough stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, so you do need to kind of be running there. Stop that. Run. Oh, shit. I did it! See, honestly, that wasn't actually that hard. 
I still had a health drink, two first aid kits, and I had that ampule I never actually used. Come on, Samael, really? That's it? That was pathetic. Yeah, I know he was born premature there because of that whole uh, Thafa, Lafa, I guess, or whatever. But honestly, you can fight him fully formed, too, and it's basically the same thing. Well, yeah. So, I mean, point is, one dude with a hunting rifle can defeat the Dark God Samael. So... I guess we go that way. Or Harry Mason could just stand around here. Nothing wrong with that. If I were him, I'd be trying to get out of there. Yeah, finally. Took you long enough. Get up, Sybil. Might want to hurry. By the way, we never saw Kaufman get knocked down. I don't know. At least Sybil we saw get knocked unconscious. I don't know why Kaufman didn't bother to help us in that fight. Douchebag. How did she just phase through the floor like that? Okay, really? You can't out-wrestle her, Kaufman? This is pathetic. Honestly, I could have out-wrestled her. Really? What does she weigh? Like 90 pounds? Come on! Well, that's that, I guess. Well, folks, that was it. This has been Let's Play Silent Hill 1. And uh, we finished it up. Took a little bit longer than uh, I would have liked to record for today, since I usually do it in one hour burst. But, ah, so you got an, I record an extra part. So, uh... Yeah, that's been it for Let's Play Silent Hill 1. Pretty good game. Gets really frustrating in the middle, like after the hospital. It really starts to decline in quality with all the sewer levels and such, and it doesn't really start to get good again until nowhere when you start switching around, going all the weird places. Nowhere would have uh, greatly benefited from a map. I'm just saying, that would have been nice. Uh, but overall, very good game. Um, especially by the standards of the time when it was made. Very impressive. Uh, good music, obviously. Uh, graphics. It's always kind of hard to judge graphics because... I mean, they're always getting updated, you know? Uh, if a video game has good music, the music's gonna stay good no matter what time period you're playing it in. But the graphics are just, they are always going to go out of date. So I think it's just best not really to judge those, honestly. Uh, gameplay, uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, it suffers a bit because of 
just the time it was made with survival horror games back then were kind of supposed to have sort of crippled gameplay to make it harder. And, uh, scarier. Ah, huh, Stars did the voice talent for it. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Uh... But yeah, story, pretty good. Doesn't make sense, but then again, it's not really supposed to. Uh... So yeah, Harry Mason is a supreme badass, and uh, overall it was a fun game, good time playing it, it was nice to play an actually, you know, genuinely fun game for a while. Yeah, it's nice to get back into some survival horror gameplay too, I've been doing RPGs mostly lately. You may notice if you paid attention to the uh, opening of Silent Hill that that scene there mimicked uh, the one of Harry and his first wife uh, finding Cheryl the first time. Now you see the weird blooper reel thing they put at the end. Harry Mason, father, badass, ninja. So that was hard mode. That was, we got the good plus ending, hard mode. Saved a bunch, continued a bunch. Uh, took a while, almost five hours. Uh, we ran for quite a while. I got 186 out of uh, 240 items, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty close. We only missed uh, 18 items. We beat most of our enemies by fighting. Oh, five stars. That's not bad. Something makes me think it's not five out of five, but you know what? I choose to just assume it's five out of five and that the game thinks I did perfectly, you know? I, I just think that's, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that's how I choose to uh, view this. Uh, sure, as you can see there, rock drill, chainsaw, gasoline, and the little uh, stone thing. Save over this. Alright. So, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. And, uh, what's up next? Well, uh, let's see. I might do some XCOM. But, uh... There's one particular thing that's, uh, been haunting me for a while. Sort of a ghost of the past, if you will. I think it might be time to go back and, uh, finish up my obligations, if you will. Yeah. It's time to return to Final Fantasy. Kiss Kiss. <laughs>